Philippines largest TV network ABS-CBN ordered off the air. The Philippine National Telecommunications Commission ordered ABS-CBN, the country's largest television network, to cease its television and radio operations following the lapse of its franchise. The National Telecommunications Commission is the government agency in charge of awarding broadcasting licenses. ABS-CBN's 25-year license expired on May 4 after Congress failed to renew it. The channel has had a rocky history with Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte, whose campaign ads they refused to broadcast during the 2016 presidential election. ABS-CBN called on Congress to renew its franchise, saying, We trust that the government will decide on our franchise with the best interests of the Filipino people in mind. Recognizing ABS-CBN's role and efforts in providing the latest news and information during these challenging times. Philippine Senator Risa Hontevero said that the channel's shutdown order goes against public welfare. ABS-CBN has 10 days to respond to the order from the National Telecommunications Commission. The channel believes that they did not violate the law and that this case appears to be an attempt to deprive Filipinos of the services of ABS-CBN. On May 3, Philippine Solicitor General Jose Calida warned that the National Telecommunications Commission may be prosecuted for not carrying out ABS-CBN's closure order. Calida told them there was no legal basis to give ABS-CBN a provisional license while waiting for Congress's approval. According to Al Jazeera, once ABS-CBN responds to the order within the next 10 days, a hearing on the matter will be scheduled after the country's coronavirus restrictions are lifted. Many have denounced the move as an attack on press freedom. The Philippine Daily Inquirer reports that international rights group Human Rights Watch has come to the defense of ABS-CBN with their deputy Asia director, Phil Robertson, saying they view this turn of events with deep concern. The group criticized Kalida for acting like Duterte's attack dog and the Philippine Congress for not asserting its mandate and authority over matters like this. Robertson said, This also comes at the worst possible time when the COVID-19 pandemic is ravaging countries like the Philippines and when accurate and truthful information is needed crucially. Current Sorsogon governor and former Senator Francis Escudero weighed in on the issue, tweeting that Duterte can reverse the order of the National Telecommunications Commission, but Congress would still have to act on the channel's franchise renewal.